support this channel by clicking subscribe, then hitting the bell, and then hitting all to get future notifications. Hello and welcome to another Suburban Psalm video. I am Scott and alongside me is John as usual. It is Thanksgiving Day and I am thankful that I had the foresight to plan a trip to the beach during this crazy 2020 year. Uh, but here we are. We're going to be having a traditional turkey dinner and I wanted something special to serve with that. I thought Chardonnay probably, but a lot of the California Chards, even the ones I like, tend to be a little on the oaky side and the oak Oakiness tends to take over, in my opinion, so I wanted to look for more of a, a French, uh, a Burgundian uh, wine, which is what we've got here today. We've got a white Burgundy. It is from Shashanya Montrachet. It is a 2015, and it was purchased at Total Wine. This retail for about 100 bucks, so this is uh, no slouch of a wine. I have not had it before, but it came highly rated so i'm looking forward to trying this i thought this would be the perfect time to open it and see what we've got here already it's it's actually looking uh fairly golden in color and not as pale as i would have thought very golden had this open for i don't know maybe half an hour and had it out for a little bit. I wanted it to uh, kind of warm up just a little. It was in the refrigerator and that's probably a little bit on the cold side so I'm hoping warmed up just a bit so it doesn't totally kill our, our taste buds. It's very buttery nose. It's nice. Definitely very good, nice good legs on that. Yeah and John's right. There's a, it's it's you know I'm not getting a ton of fruit. I'm getting butter. Yeah. Butterscotch, caramel. As I look in the glass, it's probably still a little on the cold side, unfortunately, but we'll see what we get. Well, first thing I want to say is it's it's very balanced. It's not to this, not to that. Like I'm not getting over oak. I'm not getting too much stone fruit. I'm not getting uh, any tro a bunch of tropical fruits. It's just really smooth, mm -hmm. but still complex. I think there's pear there. Maybe some caramel. A little lemongrass. But it's, like you said, it's not really over on the citrus side. It's not heavy in that area. It's just a really smooth, nicely balanced wine. I think this is going to go excellent with the bird. It's very velvety on the palate. Yeah. It's got, I mean, that's the best way to describe it, velvety mouthfeel. So it does linger just a tad. And it does change each drink. I'm getting a little more. Some minerality there. Maybe toward the end, I'm getting some some lime, just a tinge of lime. But that's what I'm really digging about this uh, wine is is the complexity is just. I mean, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this class and let it warm up even more and, and see what else comes out of it. Um, for the money, I mean, like I said, it's a pretty expensive bottle. It's not something that I'm going to be drinking all the time, but uh, for a special occasion, this, this wine uh, is not disappointing. Uh, we're going to enjoy it before, while we're pre-gaming and, and <laughs> during with the turkey, and I, it, it's going to pair very nicely, I think. Any uh, final thoughts, Johnny? No, I'm, I'm looking forward to dinner now, <laughs> as you said, to see how this really uh, enhances what we're going to have tonight for our uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Well, happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Happy Thanksgiving Thanks to you. Thanks for joining us on this trip. Well, my pleasure. It's John, and I'm Scott, and this is what we're drinking today. Mm -hmm.